I don't know if I said good morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. good. Yeah, we're good. She's driving here, man. She don't be playing. <laughs> She's driving this junk. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be whipping it. Oh, man. She was driving yesterday. I'm like, got that. We are at Planet Hollywood. We're going to Hot and Juicy. I know. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Robert. Why do you want to go to the POP for mm. <laughs> Huh? Okay. Sorry. So technically, Clyde lost one of my earrings, so he has to buy me new ones. Let me see the ones that I give you. So, I'm thinking about getting these. Right, let's see. Look at the crystals shining and glistening. How much is this? I think this looks just like that one. I, that's like my style. Yeah. We'll just get those. All right, for sure. I'm gonna get you a fresh pair from the back, okay? Okay, thank you. I already know these are gonna be expensive for no reason. Look at that. They look like diamonds. Look at this. Uh oh. And then this is what they look like in the box, okay? Ooh, look. Look. How do you say it? So, what? Swarovski. Swarovski. Mm -hmm. My crystal. Did you want to wear them now or? Now we have some more cheap ones. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and I should ask you to sign. So for future reference, right. this is going to be the original purchase receipt. Mm -hmm. And on the back is your one year warranty. Yeah, okay? Oh, I have a warranty. Cool. All right, uh, Cool. We're all set. Thank you. Enjoy them. Have a good one. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Come on. I'm going to put that on your damn tab. What tab? You know you're the one who sucks those earrings out of my ear. You got the best one? That's another earring. No, it wasn't 700. It's not 700. You should have bought at least two pairs. Uh, right? I did too. <laughs> it is two pairs though. Okay. <laughs> it's two pairs. Uh, yeah, he he definitely is. It depends on the day. <laughs> no. Sometimes the hours. <laughs> yes. A thousand dollars? A thousand? No. These are crystals, though, not diamonds. They're not diamonds. No. Uh oh. Wow, my heart. White and black. Oh, very nice. <laughs> That's a thousand dollars right there. <laughs> half off, half off. This is his store right here. <laughs> Look at you. Look at all these blazers. That is you. All of these blazers are you. <laughs> then you're gonna see somebody with the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you buy this, you gotta wear it. Omg. You need to get you. Oh, this your store right here. Serious number. The number serious. Hell yeah, that shit's clean. New Year. I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck with that. Forty percent off. Five hundred. I'm about to open three hundred. Three hundred. All made in Turkey. All made in Turkey. Find it, man. He said you're not gonna find it nowhere else. Next thing you know, about the club, the dude got the same thing. Yeah, yeah. All stuff is limited. Wow. A whole two or three of each side. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this jacket. You got the 44 XL? Which one are you going to rock with? Not the green. Which one are you going to? I think this would be the one right here. <laughs> the green jump off. The green jump off. Get the green joint. Oh, it's, it's New Year's. This is where guys come to get their New Year's dresses. Oh, that looks I nice, though. Have to extend. Ooh, show you, man. Too fast. Well, what is that? It's a bad thing. The fabric don't come out. Arms are always too long. long. If the fabric come out, you don't want it. Now, some of them, the fabric comes out. I don't get it. Get the one that the fabric comes out. Like this one here. Nice. Look at you. Mm. You like the way you look in that. It's nice. You can get a sweater instead. 
The sweaters are normally long enough. I want to have it again tonight, New Year's tonight. Somebody got the same one. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's not going to happen. Somebody got the same one. No, they're not going to be at the same club. Women carry two of the same size. Yeah, I'm like, they're not going to be at the same club. Yeah, you guys may not be at the same spot. Yeah. Oh, shake that joint. Oh, doom, doom, doom. We decided to leave the, the crib a little bit. Get something to eat. He got a salad. He being on sweet. Being on sweet and a little salad. I got a, um, a wrap. It's a salad too, pretty much. And wrap more. Some french fries. That's the boat world. Bon appetit. Mm. Good morning, my baby daddies. I was just editing a vlog this morning and Clyde was like, oh, let's go to the gym. I thought he left, but then I come outside and he out here with his homeboy and there's two girls in here. And I'm like, word. It was real quiet. I thought he left to the gym. I was in there editing. I was in there for probably like an hour and I thought he was ready at the gym, but I got chest issues. I was saying that I was gonna talk to you guys about this at the beginning of the vlog when I started showing him and stuff that um, I just kind of want you guys to not get attached, okay? Because I'm the type of girl that when I peep something I don't like, I detach myself quick, just like that. I was in the bathroom, I was straightening my hair because I'm like, if we're, it's New Year's Eve right now. So we're going out tonight. I don't wanna have to be like, you know, slowing people down because I wanna do my hair and I have to do my makeup and all that stuff. I'm pretty quick at doing my makeup. I'm usually ready before the guys are ready, you know? But that's only if my hair is done. So I was like, let me get my hair done right now. So I'm in the bathroom doing my hair and I can see in the mirror, a girl, she's standing right here in a little orange dress. And then another girl, she had on like a cute little coat some nice heels. I was like, oh, they popping. The girl in the orange dress keeps looking at me and I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, I waved at her because, you know, I'm not rude. I'm a wave. Like if you stare in, I'm a wave because I don't want you to think that I'm like, we just got beef, you know? So I waved at her, she waved back and then she came up to me and she was like, you know, the crazy part is I watch you on YouTube. Hey girl, if you're seeing this, I, I was just not in the mood to be, you know, talking to anybody at that moment, but I did speak. <laughs> To one of them, I didn't speak to the other one. I don't even know if the other one knew me. But Clyde was sitting out here with his shirt on. And there's two girls that I don't know in the living room. And your homie, he got his shirt on, but you got your shirt off. So I was like, Clyde? I never, I didn't even call him by his first name. I called him by his last name. He's like, yeah. I was like, go put a shirt on. They might think I'm a bossy little rude bitch, but I wanted to tell y'all first. This is the first time I ever made coffee. Did I already say that? I made some coffee, I brewed coffee, bitch. Because I bought these cappuccinos as you can see these things and i took a sip out of the vanilla one and it was so sweet i couldn't even i couldn't i couldn't do it so i was like i need to brew some coffee so that way i can like mix them in those bottles so that way i have them and so i did that and it actually tastes way better so if you ever have something like that just use those as like creamer because it really tastes good like brew some regular coffee pour half of it in there and you'll be good it gives you the energy and it's really sweet so i'm going to go back and start editing I'm gonna edit for like 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna take a shower because when they come back they gonna want to take a shower I already lost one of my old earrings and I don't even give a fuck to find it <laughs> um, This one could go ahead and fall out too. Bye <laughs> Your shoe. That's the update. I don't think I haven't checked out last night What happened last night? I started editing. He fell asleep early and that was that. I'm ready. I'm waiting on the boys, you know They always take so long to get ready We're just gonna go get some what time is it? Like three? I love this sweater. So seven dollars from Walmart, y'all. I have to come up on this. Look at that. You can just tell it's beautiful, soft. I threw this in the washing machine and in the dryer, and it still look good. A full hood. You feel me? Look, 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 look. Where'd she go? <laughs> This is my airport sweater from here on out, and I got it for seven bucks. I'm gonna be sleeping, I'm gonna pull the thing all the way closed, like. 
Don't talk to me. We're at Eminem Soul Food. One of my baby daddies told me about a better place to go eat, but I asked, her, I asked on um, Snapchat and nobody responded. So here we are at Eminem again. I had to cut somebody out in the parking lot. Mm. I'm gonna need some of that gravy though because now this just doesn't look, it just doesn't look the same. I need to get some gravy on that. I feel like you get some gravy. Yeah. Happy New Year guys. I'm going to call my Uber right now. Actually, I've already called my Uber. He should be here. He should be here right now. So I just wanted to tell you guys Happy New Year because the next time I see y'all, it will be 2019. Love ya! It's like a life-changing experience and I just had it on the first day of the year which I think might be amazing you know but to start off I didn't want to go to this party I've never worn a pair of heels for more than like three hours without like taking them off I left the house at 11 it's 3 30 right now the type of heel wearing that I'm wearing right now because I haven't taken the heels off yet it's completely different from the type of heel wearing I've done before. I was editing videos and I was thinking to myself, like, I don't want to go to New Year's. Like, what the fuck ever. I kept, like, making up excuses. I was like, I'm going to go by myself. I was like, I was just saying all these other type of things because I didn't want to go. <laughs> I didn't want to go, but I felt bad because someone had already purchased my ticket and it was $135. So I was like, dang, someone bought me a ticket to go to this New Year's party and I'm about to flake. Like, you know, this fucked up. So I tried to procrastinate all the way up until the last minute and then I felt bad and so I got ready. Because I started getting ready so late, they left without me. When it was time for me to go, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna drive. And then when I get there, you know, whatever. I got a text message right when I was about to leave, like, there's no parking, make sure you Uber. So I called an Uber. I'm going back and forth with Uber, you know, because it's like a surge now, it's 11 something, 11 15 or some shit like that. So everybody's trying to use Uber. <laughs> Oh, my phone is dead, by the way. Boots are coming off. I feel like the other people are gonna come in soon and I'm gonna have to continue this story another time. If that's the case, we're gonna continue the story another time to be continued. From this hotel to Dre's, So, I'm happy to know that all my gifts were useful. The checkers game, they have played it at least five times a day ever since I got it. The shoes, he already wore the brown Adidas and he got on the brown ones right now. He using the wallet. I said all my Christmas gifts are very usable. Men like things they can use, he said. As you can see, I'm in my, what do they call it in London, dressing gown. I ain't going, I'm not going out, I'm not, I don't want to go out. I still want to tell y'all the story from last night. So I'm going to stay in the house. As a matter of fact, when I leave, I'm going to pack up my shit and I'm going to go back home. You don't know that though. What you want, boy? I tell you, you're going to give it to me? <laughs> 
Why are you in Hoochie Mama? You got on gold rings. Since when did you turn into a pimp? This whole time he ain't been looking like no pimp. But when I decide I'm not going nowhere, then that's when you want to go and dress up, put on your gold chains. He got two gold chains. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. If you pay attention, you would have seen them before. Look at, he got the pimp rings on. I want to smoke and then chill. I slept all day long. That's why y'all ain't see me until now. It's like 10 o'clock. Bitch, I just used my new phone to call my old phone. My old phone in the car somewhere. <laughs> this phone has been activated. I took it to get it activated the other day. So I'm just going to navigate with this phone. I'm home, so now we can finish the story. And you see how loud I'm talking? Oh my God, I had a whisper and shit. I was all listening to see who was checking for me and shit. Girl, I watched that video back. I was like, I said something like, oh, the people should be coming back sometime too. And they didn't tell me that they were coming back. It was just like me getting their energy. Like I was feeling their energy. And then I was like, let me take these shoes off. And I was like, watch them walk in. I sit down and I'm like, and I started talking again. I was like, the direct distance is from, and then you hear the door open. So that's where we ended. The direct distance from that hotel to Dre's was one mile, okay? One perfect mile. And I had on these high boots these cute ass high heel boots the pumps you know and it was over the knee and i put those on because the outfit that i wanted to wear required little minimalist sandals but i was like you might have to be in the cold for some reason put on boots so that's the reason why i was wearing these boots okay call the uber the uber comes to pick me up we get to the corner so now we're at about a half a mile right we get to the corner and he's like, and there's like this stupid traffic. They close down Flamingo and they close down Las Vegas Boulevard. So the club is on Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. I have to walk to the end of that street, the end of that block. And these ain't regular blocks. These are hotel blocks. If you've ever been to Vegas and you know how big the hotels are, these are blocks with two or three hotels on them. Okay, they're not regular blocks. That's why it's a half a mile. A block is a half a mile. <laughs> All right, we drove down one block here from my hotel to Flamingo. Then Flamingo to Las Vegas is where the hotel is at. The, the hotel, the club, Dre's. There's all this traffic right here and he's already in the right lane. He's like, you know what? I know there's a quicker way to get you to your destination, but I'm gonna have to get around all this traffic. So it's gonna make you, it's gonna take you a lot longer. I look at the clock, 11, 17. I'm like, do I wanna get closer or do I wanna beat the shot clock? You know what I'm saying? Do I wanna get closer to my dreams or do I want to have a dreamy ass new year? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the fireworks, it's Dre's, you know? You wanna see, you wanna get the experience. I agree at first, I'm like, okay, for sure, bet. Like, just go. And then I realize he like starts turning left and I'm like, wait, you trying to make a U-turn right here? That's not even gonna happen. I'm just gonna hop out. You know, at this point, I'm like, I already know it's like four lanes a car's packed and we're already at the intersection and he was trying to make a u-turn at that intersection there's police right here on the right because they closed that because they closed that whole street so well, this ain't gonna happen but you just trying to get my money 150 surge on uber and lyft no absolutely not baby now he took me a block and got 17 dollars from me and that's in disputes because I definitely am not paying $16 or $16.88 or whatever for you to have not listened to me and taking me to that street to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. You didn't save my life tonight. I still had to walk. <laughs> you didn't save my life. You helped, but you didn't save my life. Not $17 worth, at least. That's all I was trying to tell y'all. This night was just started off bad. I hop out. I walk a half a mile in my heels. I didn't have no jacket, nothing. Just a little tiny fashion over dress. It was off the shoulder. Sleeves were see-through. And these boots, but these boots put in their work, okay? My legs wasn't cold. Everything else was. So who's gonna take down these decorations, by the way? Because I'm completely over the season. Return? Return it? Return it back to, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. We definitely returning that back. Yeah, all this shit could just go back, as a matter of fact. Ross, I got, take it back. <laughs> I don't have storage space for this. <laughs> <laughs> go to Walmart with the freaking reef like hey I don't need this anymore that one still has the receipt on it this one still has the ticket on it this could go right back right 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 back I only got that one like two days before the holidays it was pointless and then I wasn't here for the rest of the holidays like fuck that I already had some stuff in the car to return like it was like this little bouquet and then um I had like the lights that I never ended up putting up before Christmas so I already had those in the car to return it but all this can go low key. Shit, the pillows, everything. The little flowers right there, bye. 
So I strut my little half a mile on up to Dre's, okay? And I'm just gonna give y'all the details so y'all know who you're dealing with, okay? I'm gonna give y'all the details exactly what happened so you know I'm a bad bitch. Boom, cold as fuck. I stop at this one spot, and this was where he was supposed to drop me off to begin with. It was much closer. He had stopped there, and I was like, do you guys have napkins? My nose was running. My eyes were leaking. Like, it was so cold. My nose was red, and I'm chocolate. How was my nose red? So the guy felt really bad for me. He asked me for my ID at first, and then he was like, Oh yeah, hold on. Anybody got napkins? Anybody got napkins? He got me some napkins, right? It was at a bar, so they had napkins behind the bar. That was probably at half, a quarter of a mile, you know what I'm saying? So I had another quarter to go. Strut, strut, strut. It's the beginning of the night, so my feet ain't really hurting like that. So I was like, if it wasn't cold right now, I'll be fucking killing me right now. But I'm over here like, <laughs> like it was so cold and I had to pull my skirt down, you know, all that stuff. You know how it is to be a girl, or, or don't you? I get to Dre's, you know what I'm saying? I pull up, it's always a crowd of black guys at the front. I'm giving you my experience. I want y'all to know what I went through, okay? It's always a crowd of black guys at the front that ain't planned on getting into the club. They planned on putting on their best, their Sunday's best, standing at the edge of the club, hollering at women walking out the club as if they're waiting for their vehicle at valet, but really they not, they're just trying to holler at every pretty girl that walks past. You see the memes of people saying walking past a group of black guys, it's like something that can give a black girl the most anxiety. Maybe a girl in general, just people in general probably, walking through a crowd of black guys because black guys, they don't have no filter. They they don't know how to shut up sometimes. Damn mommy, oh shit, baby. Hey, chocolate brown shorts. Hey, braids, box braids. Hey, what's up, poetic justice? Like, they don't have no sense, okay? So everybody knows what I mean when I say that. And if you wanna say, that don't happen, stop portraying these negative stereotypes. Get rid of the stereotypes then, and then we won't have them. But I'm just giving you my experience. Be? All right. This one tall, big bear looking one. He come right up to me, right in front of me. Cold, just got off the street, didn't ask me my name, didn't say none of that. He just stands right in front of me and he's like, damn, you tall. Thank you. A little short one grabbed my arm. Hey ma, where you going? Mind you, if you've ever been to the Cromwell, which all of these men have, because they live in Vegas, and they sit at the front of the Cromwell Hotel hollering at girls. So they've all been to this hotel before. You see me in a little dress and some high heels. You asking me where I'm going. The Cromwell only has three places to go. You can go through it and come out through the other side, okay? You can go upstairs to like the four levels of hotel rooms that they have, which the Cromwell's one of the smallest hotels. The whole hotel is Dre's. So there's only one other place I could be going and that's Dre's. Now, when you look at me and you put two and two together, you know I'm going to Dre's. So why, like, you know what I'm saying? Out of my face, sir. I walk, I go around and say, hey, where's the line for tickets? Cause I got a ticket. I wrapped my ID and my credit card in my ticket, right? The ticket was $135. I didn't buy it, but that's the reason why I went because I felt bad because someone else bought it. So I go to the line, He's, I'm like, what is this line? They said VIP. I go around, I'm like, where's the ticket line? They're like, you have to cut through the restaurant, hit a right. I said, bet. So I cut through the restaurant and hit a right. I saw a rope and I saw a long ass line. And I said, bet. I unclipped the rope, walked into the rope, it was people like, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, mama, let me come with you. Wait, 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 because I literally just cut the line. It was me by myself. I was not waiting in that line, not at all. I was tired. At this point, it was probably like 1130. <laughs> I have to get inside. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing. So I get inside the line, I start telling people, excuse me, excuse me, and like that my friends are in the front. I didn't have to say that often. Like once from somebody heard me say, excuse me, they just moved out the way. Like they weren't being rude or anything. They didn't know what I was cutting the line for either. So I was just saying, oh yeah, my friends is up there. I was like, excuse me, boo, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. Like, you know, being real polite. So they ain't had nothing to say to me. One group of girls was like, damn bitch, I'm coming with you. I said, you want to? And her friends was like, no, she's drunk. <laughs> Leave her alone. So they thought I was somebody. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm a bad bitch. Then nobody questioned me, nothing. Got all the way to the front to the security. There's like some um, security checkpoints where they you have to go through like a like an airport screening. Like you take everything out, your, you know, like one of those. I walk straight to the front and I go straight through the security thing. I come out on the other side, I take my ticket out, I cut that line too, I take my ticket out, I handed it to the girl, okay? 
Now, do you guys remember me saying that I put my credit card and my hotel room key inside of this slip? The, the ticket, okay? I took out the ticket. Here you go. Because remember, I'm in a rush. I need to get there because my friends is already in there before 12 o'clock. So I get there, I send a text. There's so many people there. It has, like, the, my network isn't working, but it says that it goes through or whatever. I send the text, like, where you at? From the stage, tell me what side you're on. Because Dre's is not a small club. If you, like, Dre's might be one of the biggest clubs in the world, to be honest with you, when it's open, when it's completely open. Because they have two parts. They have a part that has two pools, and then they have a part that's, like, a stage part. So, and it's a club. I'm not talking about, like, an arena or anything like that, or, like, a stadium. Like, it's a club. That's all. That's its only purpose. <laughs> so for it to be that big, and then it has like stories too. So there's people on top that can look down to whatever's going on. So it's a big fucking club. So I'm walking into this club like, where are you? Because I can't just like walk around the whole club. Or maybe I can, bitch, because I'm a bad bitch. So guess what I do? I walk around the whole club because I ain't getting no text response, and I was looking like she ain't got no friends and she's a prostitute. So I was like, let me find my friends. I walk around the whole club. I find them, so one corner, I come in from this corner, I come down this corner, I go down the stairs, I come down this corner, and then I find my friends right there, literally just in the doorway, standing there, in the doorway, no table, nowhere to sit. <laughs> this is why I don't like going places to clubs with niggas who don't got bottles. Cause you don't know what the fuck I just went through to get here and now I gotta stand up some more and talk to y'all and chill with y'all. That's not my thing. I'm sorry. There's an outside part by the pools where you can sit down. In my mind, I'm like, I'm about to go out there and sit down. Hell no. It's about 24 degrees. So probably not going to go out there and sit down, right? Probably not 24. Maybe like 30 degrees. I'm not going to go out there to sit down. No. So I'm standing up the whole night. I think the person that I came to see realized I was a little irritated. So he kept offering me drinks. Like, hey, you don't want to get something to drink? I'm like, sure. You I can get you something to drink. You thirsty? You looking thirsty. He was like, you get your drink tickets? Because with the tickets, you get two champagne drink tickets. So he's like, you get your champagne drink tickets? I'm like, I, you know, I ain't got them yet. But I had a slight attitude. I wasn't really doing a lot of talking or anything because ugh, that was just stressful to get there before midnight. And then I was like, bitch, but you got here before midnight. You did it. You didn't wait in line. You just fucking walked right in like a bad bitch. I, <laughs> so I was like, you did it. So I was like, yeah, let me get something to drink. He's like, what do you want? I said, give me a double shot tequila. So he said, you want the Don Julio or you want the Patrons? Both of them is the same price. I said, word, give me the Patrons there. I don't know what made me pick tequila, but this story is going to last a lot longer than I want it to because I don't know how to give like just a regular story. I have to get the details. Then it's New Year's, you know, woo, New Year's. I'm like, all right, I'm done standing up. Happy New Year. I'm out. And then I realized, damn, this ticket was under $35. It's a future ticket. I haven't seen future. I have to see future. And I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm out. I contemplated back and forth a few times, but, um, eventually... Obviously, I left, but he's like, all right, I'm about to go find my friend, the friend that we came with, or the, the friend that he came with. He's like, I'm about to go find him. I'm like, okay, bet. So I'm standing there for a little while. 10 minutes pass. Another 10 minutes pass. I kind of start walking back and forth because I'm like, I don't want people to think I'm just a loner, you know, by myself. Like, it, you know what I mean? I'm at this stage where I've, I'm just at an awkward point, like, because it was niggas coming up to me, trying to talk to me, and I just had to be like, like, you know, no, because I ain't wanted to be like, oh, you talking to this motherfucker and then this nigga motherfucker walk up and then he try to, you know, show his territory over you. And I don't like that shit at all, but I knew it was going to happen. So I was just waving niggas down like, nah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So, you know, I started moving around. And then eventually I was like, let me go find him because for him to be gone this long, he didn't just go find his friend to see where his friend is at. And who just like up and be like, I'm gonna go find my friend if you're here with somebody else, you know, who no one does that. Um, unless you have plans to like, you know, see what's up or not, whatever. Cause you know, your friend is always talking to bitches, you know, you, you know, your friend ain't got nothing for you. I was like, let me go see what's up. So I walk around and I get to one side of the club and I see him coming out from the bar area and I'm just like, and then he walks up to me straight to me because like I said, niggas always do that when they feeling a little guilty though. Like they walk straight to you like, Oh, what's up? Like, no. So I was just like, oh, I'm going to use, he, as he was approaching me, he said, I can't find Armand. And I'm like, this is 30 minutes later. 
When you couldn't have found Armand, that should have been at least 15 minutes ago and you should have come back to where you told me to wait for you at. But that wasn't the case. So in my mind, I didn't want to say all that. I said, it's cool, I'm going to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom and I'm contemplating the bathroom like, should I just fuck it and just start talking, mingling, you know, doing all the extra shit? I said, nah, I don't want the burden of that. That's gonna make my head hurt. Cause then I'm gonna be having to entertain too many people. I'm gonna have to hear it from them when I get back. It's gonna hurt somebody's feelings. Like, you know, so I was just like, you know, maybe not do that. So, but I was contemplating that for a couple of minutes, probably like 20 minutes. <laughs> And then I was just like, nah, fuck it, just go back. So I text them like, where you at? I'm out here by myself. So I was like, I'm about to leave. And so I told him, I was like, I'm gonna leave. And so I get out, um, he's like, oh, okay, bye. Like you, he was like, okay, cool, but I'm not going with you type shit. And he told me this before we got there to that night. He was like, if you decide to leave early, I'm not going with you. And I'm just like, okay. You know, cause I feel it. I know how it feels like to always be leaving the club early. Like, because somebody else wants to leave early. But to me, it's like, if the person you came with wants to leave, why wouldn't you want to leave too? Mm-hmm. What you doing there? Listening to music? You can do that at home. That's why I can't be in a relationship. No need to be in a relationship when you obviously don't want to be in a relationship. I went to the bar before I told him I was leaving because I wanted to buy a drink. So I went to look for my, um my card and my card was missing so i was like damn can't even buy myself a drink i'm in here by myself just standing here looking like a lonely bum i was like let me get myself a drink i open my purse there's no there's no card there's no room to hotel key so my whole idea of leaving the damn club in my mind right now is gone because i can't even get into the hotel if i leave by myself so i'm like now i have to find this motherfucker so i go looking for him and by the way i just used the drink ticket that i had and i got a free like champagne so i didn't look like a loser so i got my little free champagne and i was walking around looking for this motherfucker i find him again coming through the same crowd <laughs> i'm like why are you always walking through the crowd it's like he sees me coming and then he starts walking through the crowd to f like you know what i mean because he's pretty tall so i feel like he could probably see me coming and he just starts moving towards me and i'm just like here he come again and so i turn around and i start trying to walk the other way because i'm just like I'm just like irritated. So again, this is another situation. Like it's been 30 minutes. What the fuck were you thinking? Why didn't you find me already? I, you know, he's like, what's up? I'm like, you, I was like, I'm leaving. And he was like, all right, bye. So I go upstairs um, and I'm like, let me find my card. Let me find my debit card, my, my credit card and the hotel room key. So I start looking, I asked the security guards. I found my hotel room key, even though they told me I wouldn't be able to find it. I literally walked in front of the podium, which they could have done, and I saw it sitting right there. So I found the hotel room key, but my credit card was missing. In my mind, I'm like, it's a credit card. It's through a bank, FD, FDIC protected. Like, it's cool. I'm going to get my money back. You know, I don't care. I really don't be caring when I lose my card. I just call the bank. Like, that wasn't me. And they'll be like, all right. Or the, they'll investigate it. And if they got to investigate it, they could investigate it. They couldn't find my credit card. I, so I go back inside. I see this girl sitting on top of this thing and I'm like perfect I could just sit down in the meantime and I was like maybe I'll just wait for future to come in and I'll go downstairs watch future and then leave again but I was just so cold I couldn't and I'm still in this little dress he had a jacket and I asked him if he can give me his jacket the first time and he was like no it's gonna ruin my outfit I go back downstairs and I'm just like hey I want to leave and then at this point I'm like give me a drink he got me another drink he was like I thought you left I'm like nope I'm still here and again like he was just by himself like not doing nothing but walked towards me when he saw me so i was just like okay so thank you for the drink took some shots of um patron same drink and then uh i was just like i want to leave and he was like if you want to leave then go and i'm like all right give me your jacket he was like all right i guess at this point i asked him the first time he said no i asked him the second time you can't say no twice that's fucked up so he gave me his jacket and i took his coat and i was like all right i'm about to be out as i was leaving they were announcing future so i was like all right let me see future a little bit i come back around i watch future and i fucking go remember taxi cabs no cars can come into the strip so i start going i'm at eight percent on my phone i walk out the club i'm like okay I need to walk where? I asked the security guard. The security guard is like, you need to walk to the end of the street where that bar is and then you call your Uber from there. I call the Uber from the hotel so that way when I get there, the Uber's there. Mm -mm. You can't do it like that. It was searching and then it canceled. It searched, canceled, search, canceled. So I was like, okay, let me walk. So I start walking. I get to the corner. I get inside that bar that gave me the napkins the first time and I order the Uber and the same thing. It cancels, it cancels, it cancels. I'm like, damn. Okay, I'm gonna walk a little bit more. So I hit the corner, I walk a little bit more, I walk to the Westin. 
I get to the West End and that's like right before the corner that I would make a left on, right? I get to the West End and I'm like, oh, Phil, I was just like, my feet hurt so bad, but I was like hy hyping myself up in my head. Like, you gonna make it, you gonna make it, call the Uber now. So I call the Uber, same thing, cancel. So I was like, all right, I look at my phone, phone is dead, my phone died. My phone dies. So I'm just like, damn, you don't have no other choice but to walk. So at this point in my mind, I'm like, you need to fucking go. You just need to go and don't ever look back. So I hop up, I start walking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just go and don't stop. Don't fucking stop no matter how, how, how bad it hurts, you know? So in my mind, I'm just like challenging myself. As I'm walking out the West End, there's this girl and she's smoking weed and I could tell she's smoking weed because I'm just like, that's some dank, you know? It was like a, uh, to me it looked like a, like a young white girl. And so I was like, you're having a good night. And she was like, yes. And she was looking for something like on the floor. And then when I said that, she turned around and she was like, yes. She was like, do you want some? <laughs> and at first I felt weird like, Bitch, no, it's okay. I don't know what you're smoking, but you're being really nice. So then I was like, nah, I could smell it. I know what she's smoking, so I'm good. So I took it, and then, you know, I took it and I hit it, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, so me and her started talking. She was just like, yeah, um, she was like, where are you going? Are you walking? And I was like, yeah. I was like, my hotel's around the corner, and I showed her that my phone was dead. I was like, it's just really irritating. If it wasn't for this blazer, I'd probably have already freeze to death. And she was like, I can call you an Uber. I can call you an Uber. And so she starts trying to call me an Uber. And I was like, no, 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 it's cool. Um, because if you move this, like literally at this point, if we were to move the Westin, like if we knocked all the Westin down, we'd be able to see the hotel on the horizon. Okay, so I can make it. I was like, I can make it. It's cool. Thank you so much, though, for that hit. I'm about to be out. And she was like, wait, 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 wait. Take it. She was like, take it with you. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I took it with me. I start walking. She's like, wait, what's your name? But let me tell you, this was like, this was like almost like she was a guardian angel that was put there. Because honestly, if you look at it, what the fuck were you looking for? Because you just stopped looking for it right when I got there. Whatever she was looking for, she stopped looking for it when I got there. She was just put there to help me. So she's like, wait, what's your name? I said, Amara. She was like, hi, Amara. I'm Sherry or something like that. Or dang, I'm so sad. I forgot her name. Yeah, her name was Sherry, I think. Either Sherry or Cherry. Sherry. So she was like, my name's Sherry. And she was like, yeah, Crazy Sherry. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you, Crazy Sherry. Thank you so much. You, like, made my day. You made my night because I was having a bad night. She was like, yeah, no problem. You know, so I just fucking left. And let me tell you something. I hit that, and it was almost like my feet got power wheels in them. I started moving. I started walking. My feet, like, got numb by the time I got to the corner. My feet went numb. Like right from into that. So I got to the end of the corner and I just started walking. I had one, I had one, I had a half a mile to go, you know, and then I would be able to get to the hotel. I'll tell them to put me in one of the little golf carts and take me home because then you have to walk a little bit more when you get into the complex as well. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So I start walking. Oh my God, the weirdest thing. So we get to the, we get about half a block. So that means a quarter mile, right? And it's just me, by the way. I don't know why I'm saying we. And I hear a girl like um, screaming, like making noises. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know? And we're at the, at the stoplight to cross the street to get on the other side because the hotel's on that side. And she's making these noises. And she's at the stoplight on the other side. And she runs across the street. And she's like, oh, oh no, oh no. Like just running across the street, like delusional. And let me tell you, she didn't look like there's anything wrong with her. Her clothes look new. She didn't look homeless. She was, she was very young, maybe like 18 or 19. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, is everything okay? Like I stopped and I kind of looked a little bit and it looked like she was running away from something. Like she was scared of something. And I was like, what the fuck is going on tonight? And then I noticed that there was like a little path trail that went down to like this. It was weird. I need to go back and check that out. As a matter of fact, it was weird. It was a pathway that went down and a whole bunch of like leaves and flowers, like a tunnel. Like if you walk through the tunnel, who knows what's in there? So I was just like, is this where this bitch is coming from? I was like, whatever, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. But I felt safe because there was literally two men right in front of me who were walking and they were just walking at the perfect pace. So I was literally just walking right behind them. They didn't look back at me. They just minding their own business at the perfect pace right in front of me. Like it's like some more guardian angels or some shit. So that's probably why I said we before because I was literally walking right behind them. They were like, it was like a safe space, you know? Get into the hotel, I go inside the hotel, and I'm like, hey, can you guys give me a car? And he's like, 
oh, the guy who drives the cart literally just went off break, went on break. I'm like, are you kidding me? He's like, I'll call a security guard to come and get you. All right, cool, I got this. So I started walking. <laughs> I tell you, it's a long walk for it to be in the same complex as the front. Like, it's just too much. I open the door. I don't even take my shoes off first. I like put my stuff down. I'm like, you fucking made it, bitch. Like, I'm congratulating myself in my mind. Like, you fucking did it. Like, that was challenging as hell. I was like, you did it though. Like, have you ever, you ever think you would do something like that? Like, you only stand up in hills for two hours. I go to parties that end at two at like one, at like 12.31. Why? Because I don't want to be in hills that long. If a party goes until four, I'm going to show up around 2.15. You feel me? Because it's not going to be me and you in these hills for that long. And I always make sure I drive so I can hop in my car right after. But that wasn't the case today. I couldn't do none of that. <laughs> So I get in the house and I'm just like, cool, you did it. What's a couple more minutes with these shoes on? Like, nothing. It's nothing. So I fucking lay on the bed and I grab the camera and that's when I started filming the original beginning of the story, right? After I cut the camera off, he comes in and he's like, oh, um, I had to walk. And he's kind of like boasting about it. He's like, yeah, I was at 8%, so I decided to leave, you know. I had to walk. I had to just walk the whole way. I couldn't get, I couldn't get a lift. And, you know, he was kind of like making it seem like he just went through hell. Hell. Like, you know how guys are? And, like, so I didn't say any of that when he first walked in. When he first walked in, I was just chilling. Like, I guess he didn't think that I went through the same shit he went through. Or maybe he thought I got a lift. And I was like, I was like, what about your friend? Like, you just left your friend. He was like, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I can get home before my phone died. And then I ended up, you know, just walking, you know. And I'm just like, okay, okay. He was like, it was an easy walk, though. It's not a big deal. It was not that bad of a walk. And I was just like, I was just like... Yeah, I know, I did the same walk. And then he was like, really? And I was like, except for I was in heels. And and I didn't have on any clothes, so. I was like, yeah, but I did the same walk. And it is, it is a walk, it's one hell of a walk. Like, it's a, it's a mile. <laughs> he was like, yeah, but it didn't feel like it. And I was like, yeah, because you weren't walking in high heels, but felt like it to me. Felt like it was a mile to me. <laughs> he just kept saying it wasn't a bad walk, and I was just like, okay. A whole just take away my whole like I was feeling like I'm a bad bitch I'm a bad bitch you just gonna snatch it out from underneath my feet talking about it wasn't that long of a walk it was a fucking long walk okay end of the day I just feel like men don't deserve women <laughs> like we go through things that niggas could never even imagine like he there was no way he was gonna be able to put himself in my shoes like impossible he wouldn't be able to under, he would never a day in his life understand what it felt like for me that night. Like all the dangers, the um, danger of being abducted or catching pneumonia or, you know, breaking a heel, a toe, the embarrassment. Like he could never imagine that. I think as women, we need to like paint the picture give them the narrative like, like let me paint it let me write it out for you so you know how it feels so I just felt underappreciated a little bit and I was just like you know I'm doing this stuff for you um yeah and during that walk I was able to think about stuff and I was just like the reason why I came to this new year's party to begin with I was like was because of somebody else like I didn't want to come I never I know I didn't want to come I had this discussion with myself over and over again in my brain but you know the whole point of a relationship or if you're trying to build a relationship is to show the other person what they are going to be benefiting from when you guys do become partners or whatever and I was just like in my mind I'm like he's not going to benefit from this because this isn't me. I'm being a whole different per uh, I'm being a whole different person right now because normally if I don't want to go somewhere guess what I ain't going I'm not going but because I'm trying to give him the best part of me I'm like I'm showing him I'm showing him that I'm gonna be there for him and type shit and it's like I don't want to though <laughs> you know what I mean so I, I just feel like I might not be the relationship type of person so I kind of broke it down to him that way I was like I just feel like I was like I just feel like I'm when you're trying to build a relationship you have to sacrifice a lot or some shit like that and he was like no you don't he was like how you what do you mean by that I was like well because I just feel like you have to do things that you don't want to have to necessarily do. And he was like, you never have to do anything you don't want to do. And I was like, for example, you bought this ticket, so I felt like I had to go. He was like, you didn't have to go. I'm like, yeah, but that's how I felt. And he was like, but no, that's not that's not what it is. I said, I'm telling you how I felt, and you're telling me no. Like, what, what are you saying no about? 
Stop trying to act like you know you are you know me better than me or you know what I fucking want more than what I fucking want or what the fuck I'm thinking, you know? So I was like, nigga, what do you fucking mean? I was like, I'm telling you how I felt. And he's like, no, but you should never feel that way. And I'm like, so me being a human being is wrong. Everything that I'm doing is wrong. I should never feel that way. I should never feel like, oh, this person bought me a ticket to go to a concert. You're trying to be a motivational speaker, right? You're trying to tell me that what I'm thinking is wrong. Okay, this motherfucker bought me a $200 ticket or $150, this motherfucker bought me a $135 ticket. I should just be like, thanks for the ticket, definitely not going. How are you going to look at me if I did that? <laughs> you know, so it's just like motherfuckers be trying to tell you like do things the way that you want to do them and like everything's going to work out and stuff like that. And it's just like, bitch, you're fucking lying. You're lying. I'm telling you that this is how I feel. That you just have to be like, oh, word, take it. Don't be trying to say, oh, no, you shouldn't feel like that. You did Because the shit, the case already happened. And it's going to keep happening because that's how it is when you're in a relationship. So at the end of the day, guess what? It's not going to work. But yeah, we're going to talk later, you guys. That was my little story time and how I've been feeling right now. Because I know that y'all be getting attached to motherfuckers when I show them. Especially since I believe... Um, you guys actually got to see me and him kiss. And you guys have never seen nothing like that before. And I've been with my three year long boyfriend, I don't think. I don't want to hurt y'all feelings too much. I just want to break it down because you guys think that you know everything. <laughs> because of the little people show you. And you know, that's said a lot. Like, we only show you 30 minutes of our whole entire day and you think we, you know everything. When people say that, they mean like, I can't tell you his side. I can only tell you my side. So because I can only tell you my side, anything that might humiliate him or, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that, I can't say it. So y'all not gonna know why I don't like him, really. <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you mean Helen. <laughs> she only means to her brother. <laughs> so nosy, girl. You know, you gotta put him in line sometimes, you know? <laughs> Uh okay. All right. <laughs> she only means her brother and Maha. <laughs> For real, everyone else would be quiet as fuck. <laughs> All right, because it's, it's 10 cause hours. It's, the, it's 3... LAS, 7 p.m. And then you arrive to Paris, 2.25 p.m. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking at. But I'm looking at it in Euro, so. Oh, so you're seeing it in Euros. <sighs> okay. Should I change the dates around, see if it might be a little cheaper? Or do you think that's probably the cheapest we're going to get? You could fuck with it. Do change it. Yeah, see if you can do the twenty second. That's what I was. The twenty second. Yeah. The twenty second to the first. You said that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I have three tabs open right now, and I tried those two dates, and those two dates are the cheapest. You want to just book two tickets, or like, how does that work? I can. Okay. Can we do that? Hold on, really quick. Let me just verify the date I'm leaving. Y'all here and I'm not here, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <Two seconds. laughs> Hold up. So are we gonna look for an Airbnb out there? No. Oh wait, what's the plan? Did I miss something? Hold on. My sister lives in France. Why would we find an Airbnb? Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm tripping, okay. Yeah, girl, that's it. Just the flight. <laughs> and food if oh, we want. Shit. <laughs> Mad term, term, term. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, actually, yeah. I'm gonna buy you a house for so, me. Friday 31st. Boom. All right, cash app in okay. you. <laughs> I'm gonna book it. So it's from LA to that airport, Charles de Gaulle, whatever. So 22nd of January to 31st of January. All right. Yeah. Bet. 20 days from now, T minus 2 0. Dang, that's crazy. Fuck it. <laughs> bitch, we about to be in France. Bitch, we about to have Eiffel Tower pictures, bitch. See how much it charged you and then just cut that in half, send it to me. Send me my bill. <laughs> we going to France, bitch, in 20 days. It must be some international. That's crazy. That is crazy. But Clyde, <laughs> wait, you guys, Clyde is coming though. Clyde is. I'm like, Clyde is about to walk in this car. So I don't want him to know that I'm traveling. So, I love oh, y'all. Send me my bill. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Hells. Thank you, Chairman, for this amazing deal. No problem, Walmart. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Bye. All right. Um. Cheers to 2019. We got a bottle of champagne. It's that expensive stuff. What's up? <laughs> we gonna bust Momo it. Right there. Huh? It's the Momo. The Bobo? Momo. Moet. Oh. We got the Momo, the Moet on go. deck. First off. Ooh. What's up? You gonna be so mad. You can't even pop it. <laughs> you gotta twist it open. Yeah, Dang, you can't even pop this champagne. Oh, shit, you get wet. Shake it, whatever you do. Yeah, I want some heavy, heavy liquor That's the momo right there. I can't believe this. I ain't never seen champagne that you twist open. That means you take his own? Huh? Yeah. I don't want to say This is it. It's a cheap joint. This is a cheap joint. Yeah. <laughs> Why? They already know my channel is based off of me being cheap. <laughs> no, that's just what I said. I got the expensive stuff. They know I ain't buying no expensive stuff. <laughs> that's the cheap joint. <laughs> because, because once you take that shot, well, because it's cold out there, and I don't have to prep appointment unless I wear the jacket. Uh huh. Today I don't feel like wearing suit for entire I got too much attention. Yeah? Yeah, we don't need all the attention out here, you know? Huh? We don't need all the attention out here. Today. They don't deserve it down here. Down here, they're local. <laughs> <laughs> they're local, local. We, we, they don't deserve we, it. They don't we deserve regular it. Today. <laughs> they're local down here. <laughs> hey, we're being local today. You know, we're right. not with the bougies. Hell yeah. We're not we with the bougies. Not tonight. Tonight, we keep it local. La vida, we do la vida loco. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, you ready? Yours? Uh, yo. Champagne. Yeah, that's yo, the coffee cup. That's what we do. Come on, we got a chance to 2019. 2019 after three days. It's gonna be a good year. 2019 after three days. That's all. I know. All late. All late. I told y'all to pop it before the new year. All late. Happy Cheers. New Year. Happy 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 New Year. Hey, what's up? Woo! This tastes like Nima Kim. Like what? Like what a Nima Kim is it? You know Nima Kim? Nima Kim is that that pure that soul. Eh? No Kim. No Kim, I guess. No, you don't taste right. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes right. It don't taste right. <laughs> Perfect hangover food, y'all. Soup from Subway. That chicken broccoli, sorry, that cheddar broccoli. Oh, shit, that person. Get you a couple of crackers. I said, you like it when I play with your booty? You like it, huh? No. Put some crackers in that jar, yep. and you set. Yep. That was awesome. I feel so much better. Awesome. Awesome. Down a bottle or two of water. Otherwise, in the morning, you're not going to have a good day. Numero dos. Get some of those. Um, Damn, box, daddy. Box of race, what you doing? Huh? You can get a pair of boxers. The little stupid boxer briefs. Your little booty. That shit ain't gonna cover my ass. <laughs> it's stretchy. <laughs> I need to clean my makeup off too. I'm gonna give you my shorts because I never went to the gym with them. Ooh, you ever smell your niggas' panties? <laughs> Don't smell good, little booty boy. Bring that booty over here, let me sniff your booty. Bring that booty over here, boy, let me sniff that booty, boy. Now nah, they smell like detergent. What detergent you use? Booty clean booty boy? <laughs> I ain't shit. What's wrong with you? Down. Two or three bottles of water. Two at least. Bottles of water when you're hungover. Otherwise, in the morning, you're gonna be pissed. You know, the last time when I slept all day, when I woke up, there's still two bottles of You know how I asked you for two bottles of water? I didn't even drink them. I saw that. 
You saw that I didn't drink them? Yeah. And you didn't even make me drink them? <laughs> That's why I was so hungry, hung over the next day. Fuck well, this whole trip. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I'm gonna miss you. How you know? Goodbye. Yeah, I'll be right out. I'm just getting my last kisses. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. I always get so sad whenever people leave me. Yeah. But I'm happy too at the same time. <laughs> I like my space as well. But that's not true because they weren't even in my space. And when my sister left, I was bawling my eyes out and she was all up in my space. So maybe I'm not so sad that they're gone. I miss my sister. We're going to France. Ah! 19 days, T minus 19 days. We going to motherfucking France, bitch. I'm about to be on some other shit, okay? I'm about to be on some other shit. I have 19 days to get my life together. Cause that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna get my life together and then I'm gonna go to fucking France and Turkey. And my apartment's gonna be clean. You hear me, universe? My apartment's gonna be clean as hell. All my videos are gonna be up to date. All my wigs are going to be made. All the sales and orders from Royal Rose are gonna be shipped out. Royal Rose is gonna be updated. I'm saying it, I'm saying it to the, to the universe. And then I'm gonna take the fuck off to Paris, France. I don't trust anybody with my inventory. That's the only thing I'm worried about when traveling. Like, who's gonna send out all these things that people be ordering? It's just gonna be closed for a couple of days. I'm at Chase right now. Um, Helen told me that I should come here and get a card for travel. She was like, you get a lot of flyer miles and like just extra points and stuff like that. So I'm about to head inside of here and see what I can get. If they'll give me a credit card or something, I don't know. We gonna see what they'll do for me. But I'm trying to get shit done, you know? I just said it, my life is gonna be on track. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm about to get back in the gym. I'm gonna go hard because I know I'm gonna be out the country for 10 days, so I don't know if I'm gonna be working out. All right, so I just got a bank account with Chase. Things are changing because I always said I would never use Chase. They irritate me. But <laughs> technically, I got on all blue today. It was meant to happen. I got my blue scarf. I got my blue shoes. <laughs> it was meant to happen. And they gave me a credit card as well, the Sapphire credit card. That's what um, that's what Helen told me I should get was a Sapphire credit card because um, they have all these points that you can get when you travel internationally. And she was actually explaining them to me. So I'm excited. Step one, done. I ain't playing no games. What should I do when I get home? I'm just gonna turn on some music and clean. Cause when my space is clean, my mind is good. And low key, I feel like taking down all those paintings and all of that shit and returning them. I think I told you I was gonna do that. Low key, I think I wanna do that too. I ain't got no storage space. Y'all about to hop in the car and y'all finna go back to the store where you came from. As long as I have the receipts, you going back. <laughs> I've literally been making money moves. So the first place I went to was Chase, right? Then I went to Wells Fargo to go get out some money because that's my main bank account. That's where I have my business account. Then I went to Bank of America because, I don't know, like my Bank of America account low-key ain't been getting no money. And I don't know why because my Google checks are supposed to be going into, well, maybe that's why because YouTube checks are supposed to be going into the Bank of America account. And YouTube ain't really paying like that. So I was like, let me just go put some money inside of that bank account so I can pay down a credit card. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a credit card for every bank account. Um... So that's what I did, and then I'm taking the rest to go pay rent. And now I'm at check cashing because it is the third, and I was about to be late for rent, so I pulled up at my house and I said, you haven't paid rent yet, bitch, and I was about to be late, so I'm about to go get this check cash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right, this is going to nothing. I hate rent, and that's why I'm trying to get property, you guys, because this money, I might as well just throw it on the street, like, it's useless. It's useless. You need land so that you're paying off something that's going to be yours eventually. So that's what my goal is. 2020, 2020, that's the year. And if that's not your year, then you ain't never going to have a year, girl. So prep 2019 so that 2020 should just fall into place. You feel me? Anyways, about to go pay my rent. <laughs> Why am I always giving motivational speeches? 
Sorry. You gotta be financially responsible. So I thought long and hard about this decision that I wanted to make and I think I've decided that I wanna leave YouTube For a couple of weeks until it's time for my trip to Paris because I gotta prepare y'all I can't leave this house looking like this I need to return that I need to return that you feel me so you know what I'm saying I gotta get my shit together you see that box of shoes yeah I need to do my review on that I need to give y'all the review and stop my fucking playing I understand I'm having problems with my hard drive that shit needs to be dead all oh, 2019 problems with my hard drive for what for what? For what? For what? Ain't no more problems with my hard drive. None of that, okay? None of that is happening in 2019. You got me fucked up. If something messes up, I'm getting a new one. I'm cashing out. I don't fucking care. So at the end of the day, I need to take a couple weeks off. I got 19 days until my trip. I think it's the 4th. It's currently the 4th, and I'm leaving on the 22nd. So technically, I got 18 days until my trip. That's about two and a half weeks. So I'm going to take those two and a half weeks and coop, recuperate. When I come back, my place is not going to look like this. Absolutely not. My place, my shit is going to be together and my bags are going to be packed. And I'm going to be on my way to motherfucking Paris. Well, technically to L.A. I don't know if I'm going to rent a car or what. Technically, I'm going to be on my way to L.A. Should I drive my car out there? I think that's dangerous. My car is raggedy. <laughs> Jeez. My shit raggedy, y'all. We're going to figure it out. We're going to see. We're going to see. But I just wanted to tell you guys bye because I'm not going to see you guys for a couple of weeks. I'm just going to put my camera up. Only time I'm going to use it is when I'm filming a video for, um, you know, a company or something. I'm going to put the vlog up. I cannot vlog for the next couple of weeks. And I know it's supposed to be a daily vlogging channel or whatever, but don't trip. You're going to have vlogs weekly. Obviously, you would know by now because I'm going to still post those vlogs weekly, the ones that I never caught up on during the 12 days of vlogmas because that's stressful. I don't even know how come I don't know how people do daily vlogs. I guess most people that do daily vlogs are like couples. I guess so one person films, one person edits or like they switch like that and it works out, but doing daily vlogs is stressful as hell, especially if you if you don't have that many subscribers to be feeding you off of it. You know what I mean? If it was the only thing that I did, I would be able to do it. But I'm trying to be on my Jenna Marbles tip. Fuck it. Y'all get one video a week and that's it. But nah, I can't do that because I love y'all too much. And I have too much to talk about. I have too much to say. I don't know. She just got that life, that privileged life that she's able to just fucking paint her t dog's toenails and teach him how to swim. And like, you don't have anything creative to talk about. You don't have anything like fun to do. You literally are taking advantage of the fact that you have this many subscribers and you don't even put effort into your work anymore so i mean that's how i feel about jenna but i still watch every single one i don't i've never watched i've never missed one of her videos why because i know that they're posted every wednesday every fucking week and when she's not gonna post a video she lets us know she lets us know so i'm trying to be on some shit like that but oh i need to figure out my schedule because my schedule will be all over the place and that's the reason why and like I said, I think it's because she's in a relationship. When you're in a relationship, you tell that motherfucker to fit into your schedule. And you don't have to worry about nobody else, you know? And that's what I'm trying to be on. So anyways, I love you guys. Hope you understand. Give me a kiss. I'll see you guys at the end of the month. Bye!